And we are more need to talk about the precious human existence and the the first fourth one. When we are reflect in terms of the cause, how to obtain the precious human existence and also reflect in terms of the example and how we obtain the human existence, this precious human existence. And also when we are reflecting terms of numerical, like numbers of the sentient beings, how it is the obtain the human existence. Therefore, cause, examples, and the number of the sentient beings, according that when we are <coughs> concerning the how it is difficult to obtain the precious human existence. And also it's very important to reflect on our human a precious human body and to recognize it is really precious to realize that it is like jewel and also when we need cross the ocean of the samsara and how we can to cross the ocean of the samsara we need to good boat and we need good captains. We need good passengers. And the same way we are in the ocean of the samsaras and fortunately we find the great precious boat or sheep is the human body. And also according to that, we have great captains, like human mind, and uh, such intelligent, and uh, such to have discriminating wisdoms, and understood what is the right and wrong, and also we can to say that such good passengers, necessary things, and uh, food, cloth, faculties, limbs of the body, and families, societies, different conditions. And uh, then it's really to everything we combine, if we analyze, this is the precious human life. On this human life, we need to do some benefit. What we need to do some benefit, we need to practice compassion. We need to develop our compassions. And also top of there, this precious human existence there's kind of the eight freedoms and this is like kind of making the great opportunity in order to practice dharma and uh, also the meaning of the dharma reality is the like kind of the corrector or the correcting or the make more soft and uh, at the beginningless until right now, our conduct, our attitude is quite hard, not soft, very much wrong way. And uh, all the times 
taken the wrong path, wrong ideas. And with that, or the coding that, we all the time uh, journey around and around in the <coughs> cyclic existence of the samsara. Now, on this precious human existence, we should to make free from the this some from the samsara, and therefore we are talking about human existence, and also human existence. Maybe it doesn't make freedom from the samsara, but open the human, precious human existence, and then mind can get such possibilities. And like a kind of the, some great beings want to do something, benefit or something important things. And also this person need tools, this person need conditions in order to do the tasks. And if this person has everything, all the tools, then maybe this great person can do some such things, good things. And like this, when we have human minds, it's like kind of the precious mind, intelligent, advantageous, more superior, and more to have the sharp wisdoms. And maybe on this, or the, with these minds, human minds, if we have a good condition or the good tools, maybe in this, this present, the human minds can such making the beneficial for ourselves in the future, we can to do. Therefore, now, maybe more to look inward in our mind and connect to the compassion attitude. And uh, <laughs> when we are studying the compassions, and uh, this is a kind of the externally some material thing is not, or we can say this is not kind of externally material or things. And the compassion is the, the movement of the mind. Compassion is the idea of the mind. Compassion is the expression of the mind. This expression of the mind, the movement of the mind, and the qualities of the mind and the such a kind of the wonderful cause of the happiness. And this expression, these movements can bring us the permanent happiness result of the Buddhahood. And therefore now, using the tool of the human existence and to develop the mind, coding the compassions, quickly to reach enlightenment. That is the most important, like this. And now I'm going to the next verse, the verse fifth. Mm, it goes like this. Like a fly, flash of the lightning on a dark and cloudy, cloudy night, which for just a single instant, shed its brilliant light, rarely through the Buddha's power, a mind of the virtue arise. Briefly, to people of the world, This is the basic require of the generating bodhicitta of the mind. 
and bodhicitta takes the rebirth into the, our mind streams, we need the idea of the virtue ideas. At the beginning, let's enter right now. We are embarked very much negative attitude, negative conduct, causing the disturbing emotions. And very difficult to have some virtue ideas. And here is the example. Maybe imagine in the autumn. Maybe it's the, in the sky, there's no sun, no moon, no star. There's no kind of the producer of the luminosities. And top of that, maybe a lot of cloudy, black, thick, dense. <coughs> we haven't got any torch. Then we need to go somewhere. How we can to find to correct the path? But in the middle of that, sometimes single instant, like skylight, is some is a kind of the shade. Is the like the kind of brilliant light is is a, to produce the by the it be in the skylight. <laughs> At that moment, we can to look, oh, which direction? Am I on the ready, right path? Just this, like kind of single extent, we need to look. And when is the flash, this luminosity is finished, then we just, we can't see it, but we need to go continue. Or maybe I'm okay, I'm on the right path. And like the same way, rarely thoughts the Buddha's powers, and uh, is uh, and the beginningless until right now, and we accumulated such habitual pattern, neg negative habitual pattern, and causing the disturbing emotions. For example, desire, attachment, ignorant, aversion, so on. These patterns are, negative patterns are the obscurations. The obscuration of the defilement, the obscuration of the cognitive. And this obscuration is very much dense, thick. Of course, we have the sky of the natural reality, the mind. But there is no kind of the luminosity, sun, Mon star. In the, the natural reality, the sky of the natural reality, the nature of the mind. What is the kind of the turmoil, cloudy? That is the negative patterns, negative habitual tendencies. Such a thick and dense, and the front of these negative habitual patterns. It's difficult to have some is a virtue thought <coughs> or compassion thoughts, like kind of the kindness thoughts. All the time concerning I, my, and ego or intent, and never ever concerning benefit for other sentient beings. There is nothing kind of the realization, nothing kind of the understood which is the such benefit. Maybe it's the someone's, of course, they don't know what is the really the virtues, what is the really known virtues. Sometimes it's the human beings like kind of the expecting to receive the, some happiness, but they all the time is undertake negative activities, <coughs> killing, stalling, doing something negatives, 
expecting something happiness. When we are action or the doing all the time negative things, then the result is the negative. This is the kind of the inevitable of the causalities. This is the infallibility of the causalities. This is the obvious. We can to see the direct in the relative perspective. Like the any kind of the vegetations, when the root or the seed itself is the a positive, then the result is positive. If this seed or something is negative, its result is negative. Like the cause of barley, all the time we produce the barley, never produce the rice. Why? Because this is the causalities. And therefore, we do negative things, its result is negative. And what does it mean negative? Meaning of the negative, it's making the such uncomfortable and anxieties depressed. Of course, that is very important. According to Buddha's teachings, Buddha, he first time in talking about the truth of the sufferings, he said that you should recognize the sufferings. If you recognize the sufferings, then you are concerning the thinking about the, the truth of the origination. The truth of the origination is defilement and the formation of the defilement. And uh, the negative or the, the truth of suffering or the sufferings is not a kind of the coincidentally arrive or without a cause never arrive. Any kind of the subtle, big, middle sufferings they have, there is a cause. And therefore, first times we should to recognize the sufferings. For example, in the history of the Buddhas. You remember once he listened to the one India pop music and the country suffering music. And he listened that, his mind is sad, depressed, and something is uncomfortable, like kind of natural tears coming. Of course, it's like uh, want to listen more to close the me singer, this lady, but his wife, Yashudara, came of to take jealous, says, what am I doing, my Lord? He says, I'm listening to this music. Which kind of music? And she says, this music is the suffering music. He immediately cut this word to say, what do you mean, suffering? It is very important. For example, this morning, Shaji Zankarambachin said, you know, how we can to develop the, our compassions. Sometimes, in order to develop the compassions, you should to have some a little bit of suffering. And he's talking about his like in difficult times in the during the revolutions. And uh, it's like uh, when you have some negative circumstances, then it's, ah, that is the suffering. And Buddha himself he said, it's, uh, oh. What does it mean, the sufferings? And she said, the meaning of the sufferings, uncomfortable, pain, and kind of the inside anxiety. And then is Buddha said, yes, and that means, today I am suffering. Like this, we, it's like a kind of, a, uh, how do you say, it's a, a difficult to experience, how do you say, to recognize the meaning of the sufferings. And we can to see the non virtues to making the someone is anxiety. Non virtue meaning is someone's make the suffering. And that is the most is we say is negative. That is the non virtues. Maybe it's like we can to say pray to God, pray to Buddha, and to pray the lamas, and maybe chanting and uh, follow up the, some uh, ritual. These things also, of course, may be virtue, but this kind of virtues, any kind of spirituality's existence. The, in the Buddha's path, the real the meaning of the virtue is, non-virtue is, if you harm me to other sentient beings, 
hurted to the other sentient beings, that is the absolutely non-virtuous. If we can to make happy, support, doing a little bit benefit for others, if you make happy your partner, even you make happy your children, even you make happy your family, even you make happy your like friends, as much as through your body, through your verb, through your mind, through your possess, through your virtues, and is other ones a little bit too happy, that is the virtues. Even if we can to make someone to smiling, that is the virtues. I think I'm in making the non-virtues. All of you are not smiling. <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't want to make non-virtues. <laughs> can you smile? Oh yes, everybody's smiling now. So uh, wonderful. And uh, maybe it's like this. Really, sometimes. What is the virtue? What is no virtue? It's very difficult to recognize. I was this experience, often I told you. I was in Nepal, and we see like kind of pilgrimage. There is a Vajrayogini place. I'm alone, I'm going to there, and one Nepalese guy, he came with me. He's carrying one chicken, and holding the, in the wind, and going like this. Chickens, but in the, the in the you know near the wind is blooding. He don't care. And I said, where are you going? He said, oh, I'm going same as you pilgrimage. There's a Hindu some the holy place. And then we arrived there. It's other is the Buddhist and other there is a Hindu. And we, there is kind of prayed and he is like chopped this chicken and blood offering. And for his perspective, that is the virtues. I have my own doing virtues. Then this, what is the really virtues? That means it's like someone's killing, stolen, doing something. This maybe may they concern is the virtue, but in the Buddhist perspective, Buddha's perspective, the meaning of the virtues, virtue, meaning of the virtues, you need to do benefit for sentient beings. Non-virtue means it's like if you hurt into the other sentient beings. Absolutely non-virtuous. The others is like, a, like a, for example, offering butter lamp and maybe pray, making mandala, this kind of circle ambulation. Maybe it's virtue. That is virtue. But okay, it's a virtue. But everybody has meditation and also practice like kind of the bindu channel airs and yoga, etc. This is any kind of spiritualities they have. And even the non-spiritual followers, they have something exercise. But it's, we need to recognize what is the really virtues. Here is means it's like the through the Buddha's powers, sometimes ah, I need to do some benefit for other sentient. Maybe sometimes it rise into the, our mind. Possible. Maybe, for example, there's, you know, it is like, a, hmm, before I make the joke, one person to say is like, uh, this is not the, someone says, it's really true. There's one American couples. They said there's 20 years they stayed together, but all the time is hurting, fighting, conflicting. And after the 20 years, and then oh, husband yeah. says, now I understand really what my wife needed. And then he acting that, she's very happy. And now my husband is really, he understood my situation. Now I understood my husband. Then become the peace, then this, enter like this. Like the same way, sometimes we do not understand. It's like a kind of the other sentient beings. Maybe it's like we understood someone's Ah, yes, this person is need like this. For example, this morning, Zankaran Bhutan says, it's like, okay, if we need to practice compassion to others, maybe someone's sick, or maybe someone's hungry, maybe someone's thirsty, maybe someone's very much tired, maybe someone's weakness. In these situations, kind of, like when we have this situation, then it's, we can take example. If I'm in like this kind of situation, what can I do? 
And in the word of my perfect teacher said, when you really to develop the compassions, you know, you can to imagine and some butchers, they are taking the, some animals, cow or yaks. And of course, the animals cannot run away, cannot escape. They need to follow the, like, uh, you know, step by step, follow the butchers. Butchers bring in the butcher place. Then each moment is near, you know, death, near and death. And that moment, if maybe consider as yourself, this animal to exchange. If maybe that moment you consider maybe that is your dear mother or father, your sister or your children, how you have, which kind of you have reactions. And then it's like, constantly like, if you're in this situation, you are going to near and near the, for the death. You're going to get killed by the butchers. And then is you cannot escape, you cannot to run, you cannot to say, please cannot kill me. And they are going to, in these situations, what can we do? If someone's coming across to save to this, and how much is the benefit? Like if we can consider like this, and then it's easily to develop, oh, then I need to help. Sometimes it's like, ah, really, I didn't think about this sentient being the same as myself. I don't have any realizing. Now I understood. Like this kind of a little bit, oh, maybe I should to help a little bit my family, my society, others. A little bit this kind of virtuous mind is occurring. That is the basis of the, like require of the generating bodhicitta, the compassions. This kind of thoughts you should to cooling, embrace, capture that, then to develop. And sometimes it's like in the mind of the virtue arise, like I think briefly in the people of the world, means it's like in the samsara, in this world. It's like kind of the, maybe it's according to the Buddha's blessing and aspiration blessings, according maybe in the past, a little bit gathered about the accumulation merit, and according to that, sometimes the virtual mind, as a virtual mind means it's like, oh, I need to, a little bit to kind of making the uh, benefit for the other sentient beings. And uh, like this sort of one is occurring, and then we should to hold it and like this. And also it's like uh, at the moment, it's very, our mind is very much dark. And uh, like a kind of the uh, dark uh, and uh, inside, because it's like uh, we are, haven't got any education of the what is right, what is the wrong. And we have such a kind of the thick of the ignorant. And also the mind streams, our mind streams related to the like kind of five poisons. Or it's like kind of the three poisons. Like a kind of uh, ignorant, disattachment, and the aversion. In the 37 practice of the Bodhisattvas, sometimes desire is like kind of the wave of the oceans. And it's then it's the anger, is the aversion, is like kind of the volcano, or like a big kind of the fire, kind of burning it. Why this occurring, this disturbing emotions? Because we say it's like, ah, this is I am, this is my body, this is my belonging, this is my family, this is my relatives. I love them, I have such desire, attachment, I have hope to them. Maybe they give me the happiness. <coughs> they are belonging mine. I don't want to separate. I want to hold into forever. Then it's a desire attachment. It's like kind of the wave of the ocean. And also it's like kind of the anger. Say, oh, this is not my side. They are ugly. This is my enemy. This is the like kind of disturbing me. Is ugly, dirty, and this one is, oh, I am angry. So anger and aversion is like kind of big fire and burning the mind. And this kind of the <coughs> turmoil and negative 
disturbing emotions inside. And then, of course, such there's obscurations and very much kind of the dark minds. And then it's like there's bright light or the like kind of the such virtual luminosities. Maybe sometimes it's possible, and maybe it's in the past some we prayed, or maybe it's like kind of the past our some gathered some accumulations. We have such virtual thoughts are simply the like kind of the desire and. Uh, and willingness, and now I need to do something. That kind of in Tibet we say is like, a, you know, it's a blind man. Sometimes they have dog, sometimes they have like cows or the animals. When they are holding the, the cows at the tail, the cows go in the mountain, cows come back, and he lost this tail, then he cannot come back. And like the, this loss, like this, the blind and on the hand of the, the cow's tail never ever lost. If you lost, then you lost in the middle of the desert. You cannot come back. Exactly like this in the, our dark minds. Sometimes there are a little bit of virtual ideas are coming. Do not lose that. Very important to develop, to cultivate, and uh, the to more like kind of the how do you say, it's, uh, uh, to generate is possible. Okay, then it's like next verse, maybe it's the verse 16, or yes, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hmm? And also it's like kind of the uh, virtue thoughts. And we need to more conversations, very, very important. And uh, it's like rarely through the Buddha's power, the mind of the virtues. <clears throat> it's like uh, at the moment, it's like absolutely we have freedom. And it's like uh, our freedom is not depends on any others. And uh, then it's like a kind of uh, uh, cannot, like a kind of bounding up by the relative or the enemies. And uh, like a kind of the life make it busy by the relative or the families. And also, it's like a kind of the such bounding up the, by the enemies. Say, I need to take care to them. I need to look after to them. I need to take care to them. I cannot to practice Dharma, and I need to help to them. Of course, it is very important to help to them. For example, we can look at the, our own peerless teacher of the Buddha. And he says, I need to do right now. He asked to the father, mother, and his wife. And they said, it's like, if you is a run from the, in the palace or from us, it's not good. And uh, it's like, you should to take care of the family. So. But reality is like these situations. And uh, his father and mother and wife and sons, they is completely in the palace. And there is no lack of the uh, kind of uh, food, cloth, and shelter. They have such comfortable, delicious food, whatever they need. But a little bit maybe is the kind of the mentally missed to him if he left. Like, for example, this morning, she said, give to the answer of the, the, uh, the, how do you say the, the young boy, he give body to the mother tiger. And of course, the parents is a little bit kind of the suffering, suffering, misery, a little bit missed, but not that kind of the sufferings. Maybe it's like a, the, such a benefit, this boy is like a kind of the maybe last moment of the, his, like the perfection of the generosities, and that he need to do it. 
and also he saved the tigers. For example, last moment when we need to eradicate the, the obscurations or the negative emotions, it's the, we need to search some it's like advantage things. If we in these situations, he become the enlightenment, such benefit, he can to make liberation of his father, his mother, and also it's like uh, eaten by the, these tigers. Tiger itself also he can to make liberations. If he hasn't got this chance, maybe okay, come back to the parents. Maybe it's to like kind of make business. Maybe there's such much benefit. Okay, like the same as the Buddha himself, he said it's like maybe if I can find something making freedom from the, all the suffering of the birth, old age, sickness, death. And then it's, that is the more benefit to the family, to the everybody's. Maybe it is take maybe life. Maybe take is one love is nothing. He said. Maybe it's take a few years. Maybe it's take a few months. During that is nothing. Said. And also, of course, it's according to the like kind of families. No? Then it's like he cannot live, but he run. And someone says, look, maybe our Western perspective. Look, Buddha, he give up the families. Oh yeah, Buddhist perspective. They need to do like this. But not like this. For example, if your family is to put in the palace and they never have lack of the food, clothes, like these things, it doesn't matter. If you seriously to do practice Dharma, please, to run. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> and like this, sometimes a little bit kind of virtuous thoughts arise. We should to kind of the decisively to do it. And uh, that is the most important. And uh, for example, of course, we say it's like also, okay, I cannot practice Dharma. I cannot to uh, meditate on the, like practice Dharma because I have such enemies. I need to eradicate or I need to subjugate or I need to destroy to them. See. But in the Shanta Deva said, if you externally enemies, you destroy, one, you destroy it, arise two, two distort, four, hundred you distort, maybe two hundred, and more and more. He said it's the externally, if you want to the distort the external enemies, you should to distort the inner your enemy, the inner enemy of the anger. So if inner your enemy of the aversion or the anger is distorted, then externally everything is become the peace. Exactly like this, <clears throat> then it's like an inner desire attachment, inner kind of the aversions should to, uh, to cut in order to eliminate. It is a little bit externally to kind of, uh, how do you say, it's like uh, involvement or the like kind of the uh, doing different things a little bit to reduce it. Of course, in the ancient times, great practitioners there's the such a kind of the uh, ideas if they really is like kind of the how do you say certainty or like kind of the really they want to practice dharma and they have like kind of the how do you say the 10 most rich of the kadamba geshis and they have in the word of my perfect teachers you know you remember and to says for example, there is like kind of three wrathful mentors. You remember three wrathful mentors, and then is that the uh, others is like a, uh, ten innermost richest, like this, and like kind of the. Uh, kind of the living from the human bodies and to be in the society of the dogs. This is an example in Tibet, but it's, it's Western, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's like kind of the idioms. You are like live 
from the human society enter into the dog society means it's like humble it's like kind of really how do you say go to in the solitude place this kind of and also it's like a, then is a uh, of course you lived from the in the human societies maybe in the worldly almost that you are like kind of the <laughs> how do you say it's like a, uh no valuable person for the human, how do you say, the worldly perspective, because you don't concern about the famous, you're not concerned to become the rich, you're not concerned to become the like kind of the uh, powerful person, and in the worldly concerning, everything you adopted, nothing. For the, in the human societies, is like you are worthless. It's like kind of you, you are not concerning these things. You go to in the solitude and like completely in the rooted place. Nothing concerning like this kind of. And also three like kind of, we so called the three wrathful. Three wrathful is like, a, uh, how do you say, it's like a, um, the uh, like kind of the nobody's cannot to stop when you are drawn to practice dharma and when you are direct to go like a, like a determinedly want to practice dharma but in the behind there is nothing kind of the like dirty things you know it's a, in the behind there is you want wherever you want you are going you want to practice dharma but behind there is like kind of the to lift some shame or embarrassed things. Never. Your trade in the behind is a fantastic way. That, and then it's like you are making the company your the transic awareness. And that is the most very important, these three things. <laughs> and like this. And uh, really, it's like once we want to practice Dharma, it is like this. This is kind of, I, I think sometimes now is the time until now, what i done. This morning we are talking about, you know, someone says, our human life or the, this, the external appearances are, Buddha, he said, like a dream, hallucination, like kind of magic illusion. And when we are more close, more far, more close, more far. And every day is like kind of there's momentary nature is changed. What is really, where am I? Long Chen Pasi, where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? How is going on? I can to see something, but what I need to see. I hear something, but what is I hear? Whatever I see, it is like a rainbow. It's like kind of the everything is empty nature. I can hear something many sound, but what, what is I need to catch? Everything is like kind of the echo. And in this kind of the diluted in the, the situations, and uh, then it's like now is the time to kind of the to pacify the, this diluted minds. Maybe to reach the realities, how it is the non-diluted mind is to get. <clears throat> and sometimes a little bit too concerning life. For example, maybe it's like we, be, we are like young or adult. In these situations, okay, of course, they are very much exciting moment and difficult to concern like this. They believe life is existence. They believe everything is existence. All the, these relative things, this is my family, my friend, my children, my belonging, my country. Everything is existence. And even if you say it's a dream, hallucination, echo, they, they, they beat you. They don't believe. Look, I'm here. You are there. We are eating. We are chatting. And even the Nanga Chuna said, oh, yes, you are right. We need to say that. But if you really to be gentle, really you clever, really to analyze in these relative realities, absolutely like kind of the hallucination, absolutely like the dream, absolutely like the rainbow, 
what we need for example maybe some of you are the 20 years during the 20 years what did you really concrete things you find it maybe someone's 30 years someone is 40 years in my age almost i'm reaching 60s maybe he is more not over the 60 years the baptism then this during this kind of the lives so when we are concerned what we done we can do the resuming resumement of the, our lives. And I don't know. It's what I done. When we calculate the number of the years, forty years, how many days, how many months? Even it's a difficult one, two, three, four, five years. Forty years. Years is difficult to calculate. But we done. We already passed by it. But it's like one, like kind of the kind of the second. It is like a dream. I don't know how I came to here. I came through the 40 years or 30 years, but I don't know how I came. Now in the future, it's like this, and how long, we don't know. And then it's like a little bit we need to, to how do we say, it, decisive, need to do practice the Dharma. Then of course, it's like a, the, we generally, in Buddhist perspective, they say it's like, Karmic winds push to our the behinds. Karmic wind or galaxy or is the timers? We don't know. It's someone's pushing. We never impossible there to stop. Say I don't want to go to tomorrow. I want to stay here. Impossible. And there is like something is turning going. And also turning is all around. It's when we come back from summer to winter, winter to go to summer. But it's not the same. Last year summer, this year summer is completely different. Just the same is as the name. Namely, okay, summer. And our life is going like this, you know. But it's the season is going like this. Life is going because it's like every year is going, going like old and old and old. The if like kind of the seasons, four seasons, summer, each summer same, winter like same, and autumn same. Okay, it's just, uh, like a suffering. We are childhood and going to, the, and the, the beginning of the summer we are adult and then slowly old in the autumn so and the winter reward again. So we become young, and almost young like this. And it's wonderful, nice, nice, <laughs> but not like this. And we say it's like the winter, okay, now I'm young, suffering's coming, ah, yeah, yeah. And, and they're old, old, old. They never is going, coming back like this. A little bit kind of to concerning that, very important, of course, to study this, there, but how much it's the benefit into the, our mind is. And also it's the truth of the Buddha's teachings, telling the truth out in the relative these realities. And the most beneficial in the relative in our daily life is the compassion, kindness, to be kindness for ourselves, to be kindness to the others, and to accumulate a kindness, develop the kindness, generate kindness, and to like as much as to how do you say cultivate the kindness. That is the most the virtue. This is the like really extraordinary good one. Now the, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm going to next verse six. Six verses goes. I mean, this okay time. Oh, we have such time. Yes, normally what time we stop? Six. Yes. Okay, maybe five minutes. We can rest. <laughs>